This is a 1938 Citroen Berlin 11 Gazogene. I guess that's how you pronounce it. What a strange design. Look at the big contraptions on each fender. This one appears to be for fuel or something. This one here has a latch on it so that you can open it up for more storage, I guess. Wow. Pretty interesting. You got a 1994 hobby car B612B Passport. They have a lot of great cars in here. Cars you don't really see on the road in, in America. MGs. 54 MG, that red one. That's a 51. That is a 55 TF1500. Pretty much fun to drive. 61 DW, uh, DKW Auto Union 1000. 35 Mercedes 130H. And a Beamer, of course. 1929 BMW H IHLE 600. I can't even talk. Good heavens. Now, if you don't know if you're coming or going, you need one of these. It's a 52 Citroen Kogelin replica. Maybe you caught it when I first brought the camera around to show you a picture of this. Let me back up a little bit and you'll definitely catch it. That car goes forward, backwards. Who knows which way it's going. Tires on each end, both steer. I've seen that done before. They'll take two cars, cut them in half, get rid of the rear ends, and then they'll weld them together. Kind of a novelty. And that is it from the Lane Motor Museum in Nashville, Tennessee. Got a lot of neat cars here. You really ought to stop in and take a look for yourself. This Tucker's got a headlight in the middle. I wonder if that turns just like the Tucker. Don't know. But I would really love to have one of those. That'd be cool. Take that down the street and see if nobody looks. <laughs> I bet you wouldn't be able to get away because everybody would still be looking at your car. Beautiful design. Crazy. Gives you a lot of room inside. All right, that's it from Nashville, Tennessee.